Hey, it's Cable here with One-to-One -one Fitness, and I'm just hanging out at home here today doing some writing for a number of the publications that I write for, both locally and, and abroad. And, and these days I find myself writing a lot about change and the different uh, elements that drive us to change, that ultimately allow us to make a decision to decide and follow through with change. And I think really whether it's fitness, whether it's nutrition, whether it's maybe even success in, in life, love, relationships, or anywhere in between, it kind of all stems from the same place in that change is a very difficult thing to do. And in order for us to embrace change, we first must um, become emotional about the reason why we want to change. Because if you notice that just about anything that you do in life, ultimately when you make a decision, off, often the basic premise of that decision is how you feel emotionally about the situation. You know, my uh, my loving dog TJ here is hanging out beside me as I, I filmed this video and I can tell you if, you know, he started throwing up and, and wasn't feeling well, uh, my wife and I wouldn't even hesitate. We'd quickly take him to the vet because we care about him and want to make sure that we're doing everything to make sure he's okay. You know, and when we're talking about health and fitness, I know that just about every client I've ever worked with has shared a story uh, similar to that when they wake up in the morning, they may stand in front of our of their closet and think, man, you know what, I have that favorite dress, that favorite pair of jeans, the back of the closet, maybe that bathing suit that I really like to, to wear as uh, we get excited and hope that spring and summer here soon arrives. We start to feel uncomfortable about how we look or, or how others perceive us. And our self-esteem and our self-image um, basically guides many of the choices that we'll make. The stores that we shop at, the clothes we buy, you get my point. So the point is, is when we are upset and emotional about something, usually that's the driving force for us to make a decision, set a deadline to embrace change. But most of us, and New Year's being the best example of this, within a few weeks find that acceptance of that emotion becomes apparent, meaning that we begin to grow more and more comfortable with where we're at because we realize how difficult doing something different is. And as such, we begin to struggle with willpower or we begin to struggle with motivation. So we clearly don't want to be upset and emotional all the time. So what do we do uh, to stay motivated and ultimately reach our goals, whether that's fitness or otherwise? Well, we need to start with basic strategies in that, one, we need to make baby steps. In a world where we're wired for instant gratification and just about anything is available to us instantaneously, we have a bad habit of jumping in the pool with both feet, meaning that we radically change everything. And when we radically change everything, we realize how hard, how much work it is, how different it is than our normal behaviors, and as such, it increases our stress levels and that feeling of overwhelming, making it really, really difficult to adhere to all of those things. So we need to start with baby steps. Make sure that, you know, as much as you want to lose 50 pounds in the next 30 or 60 days, would you be disappointed if it took three to four months to lose that 50 pounds? Would it, you be disappointed if it took six months to lose the 50 pounds? But I could promise or guarantee that you would never gain it back. The majority of people would say, you know what? I wish I could do it faster, but if you could guarantee that I would never gain that weight back, I think I could live with that. And that's the point, is that we just need to micronize these things to the small changes that you can do today to make sure that you can live with tomorrow. For instance, you know, what is that one thing that you have every single day that you know isn't good for you? You know, for me, as much as I hate to admit it, um, I've always enjoyed soda. Ever, ever since I was a kid, I, I enjoyed pop, you know, and as I went through my physique years, um, I used diet sodas. And I would be the first to agree with anyone that artificial sweeteners are probably the worst thing for you on the planet. However, you know, because it's something I've enjoyed and, and I've consumed for a long time, it's not realistic to suddenly give it up tomorrow and never consume it again. But is it safe to say that I could go one or two days a week and not have that if I was having it every day? Okay, so what are you doing in your own life, something that you do on a very frequent basis, whether that's daily or very frequently, that you could start by saying, what if I just eliminate one time? You know, something that you wouldn't necessarily feel to make those small and baby steps forward. The next thing is that as people, we need affirmation. There's actually, I just finished a book, and unfortunately I can't remember the name of the study, but they actually did a study where our negative comments drive us to action, and our positive comments... Um, ultimately help us succeed with those actions. But interestingly enough, 
positive comments didn't actually make people any more successful until it reached a three to one ratio, meaning that you had to have some negative, but you needed to have much, much more positive, and the magic number was three times as much positivity as negativity. So where's, what's my point with this? My point with this is, is that we become emotional or uncomfortable about the things that we want to change, but we need to have those affirmations and ultimately that accountability and support system in our life that provides that three to one ratio of more positivity to keep us moving forward and accepting change. So surround yourself with people that will reinforce what you're doing because not everybody will. We know this. Sometimes our friends and family are the most critical of the things that we're doing. Not because they're bad people or mean or don't want us to succeed. In fact, it's usually the opposite. Because they care, they're concerned about how we might feel if we fail. But we need to find beyond that. We need to find those affirmations and those support groups, which is certainly why uh, my business of personal training and fitness coaching has been something that many people have sought out because they realize that going to an expert that is only concerned about their positivity uh, will help them be more likely to adapt those habits to their lifestyle and succeed. Does that make sense? Uh, I hope so. So finally, we know that we need to make small changes at a, at, on a consistent basis. So small things that aren't too painful that we know we can follow through with to ultimately develop habits. We know we need accountability and support. Finally, we do need a little bit of know-how and expertise. And thankfully, because of the world of the internet today, everything is available at your fingertips. Whether you find value in this video or something else like the ones on our, our YouTube channel at, at youtube.com com slash one to one fitness or personal training com on our website there's zillions of websites and video sites that have all the information you need but if that's not enough i mean things like social media groups facebook you'll find local uh, support and accountability groups people that are just like you that want to band together to succeed or obviously there's even professionals like us the point is, is I believe these days that the weight loss epidemic and getting in shape and feeling good about yourself has more to do with understanding the psychology of change than it actually does the actions and things that you need to do to complete it. Because those are things that anybody can do, but usually only for a period of time. It's understanding the psychology that will allow you to commit and stay committed for a long time. Anyway, I think you get my point. I hope this helps you. Please check out our website, personaltrainingreddeer.com, or our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash one-to-one-fitness, uh, for more videos and tips like this. Thanks.